the next definition is a wide sense the next one is a wide sense or weakly stationary or is another word covariance stationary process. When we say the given stochastic process is going to be a wide sense or weakly stationary or covariance stationary, if it is going to satisfy the following properties, following conditions, mean function that is m of t is independent of t. The second condition, the second order moment is going to be finite. Basically, the stochastic process is going to be a second order moments are going to be finite. Third condition, if you find the covariance function c of s comma t, that is a function only on the time difference t minus s for all t comma s find the covariance function for any two random variables x of s and x of t, then that is always going to be a function of the only the difference t minus s, not the actual t or actual s. That is in words in uh, mathematically you can write c of s comma t that is going to be a function of t minus s in absolute. If this three properties is going to be satisfied by any stochastic process, then we say that stochastic process is going to be a wide sense or weakly stationary or covariance stationary. This is entirely different from the Strickson stationary. The Strickson stationary you are finding the joint distribution of uh, n random variables, then find the joint distribution of uh, n random variables shifted by h and for all h greater than 0 for all n, if that property is satisfied, then we say that is a Strickson stationary process. Whereas, here we check the mean function is going to be independent of t and the second order moment is going to be a finite value and the covariance function is going to be a function of only the difference of t minus s. Therefore, any stochastic process uh, satisfying the Strickson stationary process sense stationary property that does not imply the wide sense stationary property as well as the wide sense stationary process need not be satisfied all the strict sense property. Therefore, you cannot uh, imply one stationary process that does not imply the wide sense and the wide sense stationary process that does not imply the strict sense stationary process. So, in the strict sense process, what we are saying is it is a stochastic process whose joint distribution does not change when shift in time or space. As a result, the parameters such as the mean and variance, if they exist, also do not change over the time or position for the strict sense stationary process. Now, I am going to give few examples for the stationary process, maybe it could be a strict sense stationary process or it could be a wide sense stationary process. The first example, let x i is going to be a i i d random variables. Independent 
identically distributed random variable and assume that each one is going to be Bernoulli distributed random variable with the parameter p. In notation, it is a binomial distribution with the parameters 1 and p that is same as each x i is or Bernoulli distributed random variables with the parameter p. Now, I am creating a stochastic process with the those such i i d random variable in which each random variable is a Bernoulli distributed random variable. Therefore, this is going to be a stochastic process. Now, you can verify whether it is going to be a strict sense stationary process or a wide sense stationary process. The assumption is uh, all the random variables are uh, mutually independent and each random variable is identically distributed which is uh, Bernoulli distributed. So, this is just for example, sake we have taken and if you find out uh, the mean function for each random variable that is going to be expectation of x i and that is going to be the mean of uh, Bernoulli distribution is going to be p, which is independent of i. The second condition, if you find out what is the second order moment of second order moment of uh, the second order moment is going to be <coughs> One square into p and zero into one minus p, so therefore that is also going to be p. So if you find out uh, c of uh, some i comma j instead of s comma t, you have i comma j. That is nothing but expectation of x of i, x of j minus expectation of x of i expectation of x of j. If you find out this quantity, this is nothing but x i and x j and since they are a, uh, independent random variable, therefore, expectation of x i into x j is nothing but the expectation of x i into expectation of x j and that is same as this one, therefore, this is going to be 0. For all i is not equal to j. For i is equal to j, that is nothing but expectation of x i square minus expectation of x i whole square, that is nothing but the variance and the variance of uh, the random variable Bernoulli distribution, that is going to be n p q. Therefore, that is going to be p into 1 minus p for i is equal to j. And this values is independent of uh, this values is going to be a function of i minus j you can make out. Therefore, since this all three properties of the weakly stationary property or wide sense stationary property is satisfied, therefore, this is going to be a wide sense stationary process. In fact, even if the random variables are simply i a d s, then too we can check that the process is wide sense stationary. For illustration purpose, we have discussed Bernoulli process. More examples on continuous time stochastic processes are discussed in the problem sheet. Now, we can cross check whether this is going to be a strict sense stationary process also. If you find out the joint distribution of, uh, suppose uh, you take uh, uh, few random variables x of i 1, x of i 2, x of i 3, 
x of i n. So, this is the n such random variable and each random variables are Bernoulli distributed with the parameter p and all are independent. Therefore, the joint distribution is going to be the product of individual distribution. And if you shift this i 1 with some number h and x of i 2 plus h and x of i 3 plus h and so on x of i n plus h you shift those random variable with the h. If you find out the joint distribution and since each one is a independent random variable therefore, the joint distribution by shifted by h that is also going to be the product of those n random variables product. Therefore, the distributions are again going to be identical because they are because each random variable is identical as well as mutually independent. Therefore, the joint distribution is going to be product and all are going to be identical. Therefore, it is going to be power n of the distribution. So, this is going to be satisfy the strict sense property that is the joint distribution of this random variable and joint distribution of this random variable are going to be same for all h as well as for all n also since it is satisfied for all h greater than 0 and for all any integer n. Therefore, this is going to be a, the same collection of a random variables. The stochastic process is going to be a strict sense stationary process. So, this is the cooked up example in which uh, this stochastic process is going to be a strict sense stationary process as well as a white sense stationary process, but there are many situations in which a stochastic process may be a strict sense not a white sense and some stochastic process may be a white sense stationary process not the strict sense stationary process and uh, how this, this particular stochastic process become a strict sense and a white sense because of each random variable is a mutually independent as well as identical. Therefore, it is going to be a strict sense stationary process as well as uh, the white sense stationary process.